Welcome to Jesse Panda 10 and the Drop Shop Garage. This is vlog number six. Today is Sunday and we have a new vlog for the week. So how was your week, Jesse? Uh, my week was good. I have made five videos this week. Um, the first video was vlog number five. It was changing toiletries in a bathroom. Um, a 1970s movie viewer. Um, an unboxing of a toaster or a toast maker uh, and a hot dog warmer and how to turn it on. Oh wow, what did you make? So guys, I hope you guys had a good week. Um, I made six videos for you guys this week. The first one was how to organize some nuts and bolts and screws and stuff like that. I hope you guys liked that one. The second video I get, made for you guys was um, super sized vacuum cleaner. And then it gave me the idea and I was like, hey, this whole week let's dedicate it to super sized stuff. You know how like the Discovery Channel has Shark Week? I just figured, hey, let's have super sized week. So my third um, video was a super sized ice maker. This ice maker, guys, is 10 feet tall. It makes like 4,000 pounds of ice a day. So I hope you guys liked that one. My fourth video was a super-sized hot water heater. This hot water heater is 200 gallons. Most people's water heaters in their houses are like 40 to 60. So this one's a 200 gallon with these pumps that circulates the water 24 hours a day. So no matter what faucet you go to, you always have instant hot water. My fifth video was super sized CO2 tanks. You gave me the idea for that one. And because um, oh. yeah. you seen them one day and you were like, oh, they're oh, yeah, pretty yeah. cool. So they're super sized CO2 tanks. Most CO2 tanks, like at restaurants or Coney's, are you know, seven to 10 pounds, I think I said on the video. And I don't know how many pounds these are, but they're about 300 gallons each tank. And there's two of them. When one runs out, the other one automatically starts. So they're never going to run out of CO2. And then my sixth video was a super-sized light bulb. So I showed you guys from a little tiny, tiny light bulb that you use for like Christmas trees or for like toys. And then I showed you a standard light bulb, which is about four inches. And just a common light bulb for the kitchen, living room, anything. And then I showed you guys a super-sized, gigantic light bulb. The only thing I can think of you would use this light bulb for is like a light post outside of your house. That's the only thing I can think the, of. The little tiny ones, the first one, uh, they're not really Christmas lights. They're meant for blinking. They're not meant to be constantly on. And uh, if they're constantly on, they heat up a lot and they get really hot. Yeah. So they're just meant for twinkling. Yep, like twinkling because they're so small that they get hot. Yeah, they just flash is what they're meant for. Yep, yep. So guys, this week I just looked on my phone a minute ago, and I'm up to 82 subscribers. So I got five more new subscribers this week. Whoever the five subscribers are, guys, I want to thank you guys for subscribing. And if there's anybody that's watching this vlog and you haven't subscribed yet, you should subscribe to my channel. It's the Drop Shop Garage. And also my channel, yep. Jesse Panda 10 because uh, I got zero subscribers this week. Which I don't know why. Um, it, gladly I didn't lose any because last week I lost like one. Yeah. yeah. Well, hopefully you put out a lot of videos and they're good videos this week. Yeah. So hopefully you get some. But yeah, it doesn't cost you guys anything to subscribe. Subscribing is completely free and you just get to watch our videos. And then we're just trying to rack up some subscribers. Yep. I'm at 82, which isn't very many at all. And I have 229 at the moment. Yep, and he's at 229. So, like I said, if there's anybody that's watching this vlog and you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything. And then every time we upload a video, you get to see them. And, you know, we try to make them funny. We try to make them uh, teach you something, educational. educational. I couldn't think of the word. So, and what I try to do... And I, he's been doing it way longer than me. He's been doing it for a year longer than me. But I was telling him, because mine is going up really fast. So my strategy, I don't know if this is a good one or not. Like I said, I'm only new to YouTube. I've been on it like six months. But my strategy is I put one or two videos that are how-to. 
then I put one or two videos that are a review and then I put one or two videos that are just something cool like supersized or tiny or a tool and um, I try to do that every week this week I went crazy and I just did supersized gigantic everything and then last week was the toy week when I went crazy about toys from the 70s but people seem to like them I have a feeling that the supersized giant things people really didn't like yeah no one really watched them. yeah i got a few views but it wasn't as many views as like other things uh in the summer you get a lot of views whenever we go to like car shows or anything and that's mainly what his channel's about but yeah right now it's just we can't really do anything like that yep and in the summertime um we get the mini bikes out we both have a couple of coleman 200s actually i did just get a comment today about one i'm not sure exactly. i haven't read it yet i just saw that i had a notification on one of the old mini bike videos that i made like seven or eight months ago wow that's really cool yep. yeah when it's summertime i mean uh, me and my son jesse jesse panda 10 we ride our mini bikes we have a four-wheeler we do lots of uh traveling we travel all over the place guys and then on those mini bikes we ride them through these trails and we discover all kinds of stuff that you wouldn't even imagine um, one time we were we ran underground little like tunnel thing that was like a bunker is what we called it Yep. Um, other times we saw like a mist silo, which is like yeah. a sewer top thing. Yeah. Uh, we go riding all over the place. We found a couple of lakes. See what happened was that in our neighborhood, there used to be these railroad tracks for like a hundred years and they don't use the train anymore. So they took the tracks out and then it's just, um, it's like trails now. It's just like trails. So anybody that has like a mini bike or a dirt bike or a four wheeler, they all go to these trails. I mean, they're miles and miles. They go all the way across the city, you know. And, and we've even seen people on razors. Razors are those little, like, real expensive four-wheelers. Remember we seen some kids on one once? Yeah. Yep. But That was actually while I was making a video. Yep, while he was making a video, some kids came by on a razor, and it was really cool. It had, a, like, a lift kit and big tires. But, yeah, in the summertime, we... Just riding our mini bikes, we discover lakes, we discover fields, things that you would never like imagine. Fields and lakes you wouldn't imagine, right? It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Yeah. So did you go back to school this whole week? Because Christmas is definitely yeah, over. Yeah, I went back to school. Um, that's about it. It's really not the greatest. <laughs> it's going into school. Going into school. Yeah. yeah. Are you still getting good grades? Yes. I actually have pretty good grades now. I always mess with them just to make sure because he always has A's and B's, guys. So when you hear me ask him, like, hey, how's your grades? I'm just messing with them. I know he's got all A's and B's. Um, he's in Boy Scouts. And he's, like, <laughs> one rank away from almost being an Eagle, guys. So. He always has this little, like, already pre-made statement that he always says. Because I always <laughs> tell people that all the time. It used to be even better when he was younger. I used to tell everybody, hey, my son's a straight-A student. Now I have to say A's and B's. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, half the time, whenever they're not A's and B's, it's just when the teachers are, like, lazy and they don't put in the assignments that I already turned in. I always get good grades. It's just sometimes the teachers don't want to actually put in the assignments. Yeah, but I was really lucky, guys. Ever since he was, like, in kindergarten, all the way up until, like, the fifth grade, the sixth grade, it was straight A's. It was just A's, 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 A's. So I never even had to, you know, wonder. And I just got in the habit of telling everybody, yeah, my kid's a straight A student. He's in Boy Scouts. He's really polite. <laughs> he used to be really polite. So I always say he's really polite and friendly. I hope it doesn't change too much. You know, when they're teenagers, they get a mind of their own. But I'm hoping yeah. that it'll only last a little bit. So, guys, like I said, I got 82 subscribers. I gained five this week. I want to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart, the five that subscribed. If anybody else is watching and hasn't subscribed, please subscribe to the Drop Shop Garage and Jesse Panda 10. Jesse Panda 10. Is there anything else that you would love to tell these awesome viewers? I would just like to say thank you for nobody unsubscribing today or this week uh, because that has been a major issue. Uh, I went up to like 232 or like 233 somewhere yeah. around there and now i've dropped like four in the last couple of weeks and i have not gained any yeah and we're not sure why but um we're gonna keep you know 
I'm going to keep making videos, guys, for you five or six, seven a week. Yep. I made like five this week. Yep. So I hope you guys like these videos. Let us know what you guys want to see. Do you guys want to see like funny ones? Do you guys want to see like learning ones? Yeah. What kind of videos? What kind of videos? One day, guys, we were at this flea market. And I'm going to tell you a funny story. Jesse what? tried on these cowboy boots. It was a really cool video. Mm -hmm. And then out of the nowhere, I was like, oh, Jesse's trying on some cowboy boots. Guys, we got a couple of hundred views on those. People love really? that. Yeah, that many views? yeah it's, it's almost to like 300 views. And um, sometimes the ones we least expect. The other day, I made one of a little first aid kit. I was really bored, and I was like, let me show you guys, you know, a review of a little first aid kit. And in the first day or two, I got like 40 views. So that's really good. Sometimes it surprises us. And then sometimes I make ones where I'm like, okay, this one's going to be a great one, guys. It's going to yeah, be a not. big hit, and it's a flop. Just like the whole week saying it was Super Size Week. Yeah, I thought it would be a good idea, guys, to Super Size for the whole entire week. I'm not saying it was a flop or anything, but they each got like 10 to 12 views, maybe 20 views. And sometimes there's other ones. When I made the little Evil Knievel bike, it got like 40 views. That yeah. thing like skyrocketed. So, um... Again, I hope you guys have a really great week. I hope everything goes good for all of you guys. Yep, me too. And um, do you have anything else to say to them? I would just like to say have a great day, guys. Please like and subscribe, and I will see you guys on the next video. Yep, the Drop Shop Garage, Jesse Panda 10. We want to thank you guys for watching these. Please like and subscribe, Bye -bye. and have a great day, guys.